What's up everybody? Hope you're doing super well. If you're new here, my name is Ryan and on Entirely Honest, I hope to improve your life by sharing the ways that I improve mine. And in this video, I want to talk about a concept that has really helped me called the three pillars of health and I hope that it can help you as well. Let's get started. So a while back, my friends and I came up with this idea of the three pillars of health which consists of diet, sleep, and exercise. And we concluded that in order to live a healthy and productive lifestyle, especially over a long period of time, you need to have good habits with respect to these areas. We also talked about how lacking in one or more of these pillars can end up being detrimental to your health in the long run. Ever since, the idea of the three pillars of health have really stuck with me. In one of my past videos, I talked about how health is one of my deepest values. And since coming to the realization that diet, sleep, and exercise are all fundamental components of both physical and mental health, I began to structure my days in a way that prioritizes them. Today, my best days are when I partake in strength training and some sort of aerobic exercise fueled by healthy meals, snacks, and a nine hour sleep the night before. This routine gives me the focus that I need to accomplish my short and long-term goals. It's safe to say that the three pillars of health have become the foundation of my journey of self-improvement. But it wasn't always like this. It took me a long time to build my three pillars as strong as they are today. When I first started to improve my life, my three pillars were in rough shape. My diet was terrible, my sleep was all over the place, and I rarely exercised. So I started with some basic maintenance, a simple fix for each pillar. I committed to try one new healthy recipe every week, get at least eight hours of sleep a night, and go for an outdoor walk every day. Then, over time, I worked more in depth on each pillar to strengthen them. I went in depth on diet first as I felt that it needed immediate attention. Turns out it was the hardest and most complicated pillar, but I'm happy to say that today I have a robust system in place for my diet and I've really solidified this pillar. I made an entire video about this, which you can find linked in the description below. And if you haven't yet seen it, it's definitely worth checking out as I give away my personal meal plan with over 50 healthy recipes absolutely free. Sleep is the next pillar that I really went in depth on and I discovered quite a few ways to strengthen it. Probably the biggest was quitting smoking and no longer consuming caffeine. But I also find that daily exercise really helps me to get a good night's sleep, which brings us to the last pillar. Exercise is the pillar that I am currently spending the most amount of time on. I am creating an exercise plan that will allow me to do diverse workouts and perform exercises with the proper form. I'm also learning a lot about calisthenics right now, and I'm working towards my goal of running 10 kilometers at once by the end of the year. I've found that consistently eating well Sleeping eight and a half to nine hours a night and exercising daily helps me to have more productive days and allows me to accomplish my goals quicker without sacrificing my health. But it's not like I started my journey, fixed these areas, and now everything's perfect. What I really like about the three pillars of health is that they are constantly evolving. There is always room for improvement and optimization when it comes to diet sleep, and exercise. Perhaps it's incorporating healthy foods I have yet to include in my diet. Or maybe it's optimizing my sleeping environment with blackout curtains. Or maybe it's adding a new exercise to my exercise plan. I also find it useful to reflect on the three pillars whenever I am feeling off, as that's usually an indication that at least one of the pillars is in disorder and needs to be put back into order. In fact, all three pillars are heavily intertwined with one another. So when one suffers, 
They all do. That's why it's so important to maintain healthy habits with all three pillars and not just one or two. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you found this video valuable. If you did, please give it a like and let me know your thoughts and questions down in the comments below. I love hearing from you all. If you want to know why and how I started eating healthier, check out this video here. And if you're looking for a strategy to get exercising, check out the one that I use right here. If you're curious about sleep, then subscribe to the channel because next week's video is all about it. Thanks again and have a great day. Peace. Thank you.